Welcome back to the channel, guys. Darth Sloan here, your Expansive Worlds official partner, content creator. And today we're going to be ranking the top 10 lures, baits, soft plastics, you know, the things you use to catch fishes. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take some, several things into consideration here. For example, if I just went strictly by numbers, like the, or the amount of fish that bite baits, number one's red worm. 32 of the 41 fish in the game, and this is including all the legendaries. So 32 of the 41 fish in the game will bite a red worm, okay? Number two would be minnow with 31. Number three would be spinner with 29. Number four would be spoon with 28. Five is grub with 25. Six is tube with 23. Seven is crankbait with 21. Eight is bloodworm with 19. Shad is 19 and leeches are 19. So the bottom three are tied at 19 fish out of 41. Now that's not the only thing that I'm taking into consideration here. When I'm thinking about baits, it's not so much how many fish will bite on it. I take into account the ease of use of that bait, like how comfortable I am using it, the technique involved with it, uh, and the, the fun fish. Some fish are boring to fish for. Some fish are really, really fun. So taking all those things into account, all right, and the effectiveness of it, they will just really go after certain baits quicker than others. So, for example, I don't like to float fish. I don't like it. For some fish I do, I feel like I'm not doing anything and I don't have a lot of patience, so I'm sitting there waiting for bites. But you have to cast around a lot. I, would, I feel like I get more bites on an artificial or a lure as I am reeling it in. I feel like I'm doing something, but Taking into account all these things, the effectiveness, how often I feel that I get bites, how often I feel that I catch big fish, and the baits that I use for the funner fish, it doesn't really matter to me. Like, for example, I'm, I'm not a big red worm fan. I've never really caught anything big on a red worm. Maybe that's bad luck, RNG, whatever. Just because they, caught, they catch a lot of fish or 32 out of 41 by the red worm. That's not the deciding factor whether it ends up on my top 10 or not. I take those things into consideration. But if it were straight that, then it would be that list I just read off. Now I'm going to start with number 10. And I'm going to go through my list as we fish. But number 10 is the popper. Similar to the crankbait, you throw it out there. You don't have to wait on it to sink and you just start reeling. And the popper, for example, this week, uh, Goldstein, preferred bait, like a number size two popper or something is usually what I use. You can use bigger. And we'll see what happens. Now here we have a bite right now. Something has went ahead and bit our crankbait. What have we got here? All right, we've already got a northern pike, a two pound northern pike, because we're just using a size five crankbait, okay? All right, coming in at number nine. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and throw that on. A red worm, we'll probably get a bite on something here. So let's, let's just uh, drop it down to about two feet. Let's just throw it out there. As we go through our list, we'll just We'll leave that bait there, see if anything bites on it. So number nine is the red worm. 32 out of 41. Fish. About the red worm. Number 10, the popper. Only 10 fish out of 41. And I see a big bass right there. Decent sized bass. I don't know how big it is. They all look big sometimes. But 10 out of 41 is all that bites the popper. But. I use the popper every time Goldstein's around. 
or whenever I decide to go fishing for largemouth. Now let's see what we've got on here. What have we hooked in here? Is that that bass that we just saw? So there's us a largemouth, a silver largemouth. I already went after our red worm. Okay. So this, I'm just gonna throw it right back out there. We'll see what happens. It's a popular choice, evidently. Maybe, maybe the red worm makes its way up the list by the time this video's over. My number eight most popular lure to use, and this is Darth Sloan in the book of Darth Sloan, you know? Highly, highly respected uh, opinions here, you know, and renowned around the world for expertise. Number eight, the tube. And that is what you have to use on a jig head. And my favorite fish, the fish with the tube, and I discovered this after the king of the catch, uh, was the black crappie. I really like to use a number eight tube. Um, 23 out of the 41 fish will bite a tube. So now here we have a silver orid. I didn't even know orid were in this body of water. Number seven, 18 out of 41 fish bite this bait. And that is cheese. I use the two alt cheese for Big Larry and for Store Henrik. I don't know if I go down to a two alt, but I use cheese for both. I just leave it right on the hook. Just go ahead and use cheese for both. I like to use cheese for any of those, you know, catfish, burbot, those bottom feeders. Coming in at number six is the crankbait. And we've already been using that. We caught our first fish with the crankbait a few minutes ago. I like the crankbait. I wish I liked the crankbait more than what I do because what really puts the crankbait up so high for me, again, this goes back to patience. The crankbait, you don't have to wait on it to sink. And the popper too, but I don't feel like I have as much success on the popper. But that crankbait, I do pretty good. I'll even catch some Atlantic salmon with the crankbait. And the, another thing about the crankbait that puts it on up there on my list, the spinner only goes to two alt. The crankbait goes all the way up to four alt. So you can catch some pretty big fish on that crankbait. And it dives down deep, you know? You just throw it out there, start reeling it in. All right, number five. Simply because it is the preferred bait of pike and muskie. And they are so fun to fish for because they, they provide such good fights. Um, because that's their preferred bait. The swim bait. That's really about the only thing I use the swim bait for. But I like fishing for tiger, musky, and pike so much that the swim bait comes in at number five. Now, number four. We're going to switch over to this bait real quick. Number four as we reveal it. Okay, here it is. The eggs. Only drawback to the eggs, you can only go up to a size six hook, but I caught a diamond cutthroat trail on that, so I'm pretty sure they'll drop down. And let's go over here on these lilies. Let's see if we can't catch us a bass or something using the eggs. The eggs are the choice for 18 of 41 fish. That's how many will bite the eggs. Let's see what we've caught here. We've got another orid trout, six pounder, silver. See, the eggs weren't even on the list um, of the top 10 of just quantity of fish that will bite that bait. Because I, to I told you that's part of the consideration, but not everything. And the swim bait, only 11 out of the 41 bite the swim bait, but I really like fishing for muskie and pike. So that, to me, that puts the swim bait up really high on my list because you can fish for a really fun fish with that swim bait, even though there's only 11 fish that will bite it. So that's that's what I'm saying is I'm taking other things into consideration, not simply just the number of fish that will bite a bait, but the types of fish, I got one getting ready to bite right now. The types of fish, you know, where do you spend your time? This one looks pretty good. Where do you spend your time fishing, you know? Um, and those are the baits that, that has, 
an impact on your favorite baits. You know, you got to consider what do you like to fish for? Now, these top three here, I'm going to say I use these three. I use these three more than any other lures, baits, whatever you want to call it. The things we catch fish with. I use these three more than any, hands down, it's not even close. Now, eggs I like to use a lot with the trouts. You know, all the different trouts, I like to use the eggs and it eliminates those rainbows so you can get focus on those other trouts instead of those pesky river potatoes coming up. Number three, and this is hard to separate these. It's really hard to separate these. These three are my favorite. So really, I'm not going to get mad at anybody if they say, I can't believe you said that was number three or that was number two or that was number one. They're really interchangeable. I had to put them somewhere. So number three, I put is the spoon. Love the spoon. A lot of fish out there will bite on the spoon. In fact, 28 of 41. There's only 13 fish in the game that won't bite the spoon. It only goes up to a two alt. That's one of the weaknesses. I wish it went up to a four alt, but that's one of the things, but you can still catch any diamond on that. We'll, we'll drop down and, and bite that. And believe it or not, as much as I don't like float fishing and probably why it didn't get the number one spot for me because I don't like float fishing. The number two bait is minnows. I slightly give the nod to minnows over spoon at number two. Minnows, 31 of the 41 fish in the game will bite minnows. There's only 10 fish out there that won't bite a minnow. If I'm going to float fish, I would much rather fish with a minnow. It seems like they bite that minnow quicker than, than anything. As a matter of fact, before we reveal number one, got to get us a minnow or minner as we say it in the South. Got to get that minner in there. Get that minner in there, boys. 31 of 41. The only bait that fish bite more than the minnow in the game is red worm. I've caught diamond. The difference between the minnow and the red worm for me is I feel like you get bites quicker. Of course, I won't get one during this video because I said that. But I feel like you get bites quicker on the minnow. Oh, there we go. And... I've never, I don't think I've ever caught a diamond on a red worm. And here we go. Largemouth silver right there. It is time to reveal the number one and not just number one in general. I'm going to say it. I think Stevie's going to be proud of me for this one. Not just the spinner in general, but the number seven spinner. The number seven spinner. And this goes back to day one. Actually, before day one, I had early access to this game. I played it a week or so before it came out. And the number seven spinner, even back then to today, still reigns supreme. The spinner and 29 of the 41 fish will bite a spinner. But the number seven spinner really hits a lot of fish because they will drop down and bite the spinner. And the number seven, Stevie will tell you, DW Stevie, streams, he's a streamer as well. And he has helped me a lot in this game. He's like a walking encyclopedia. And he really jumps in there and helps. And uh, he will tell you, the number seven, he's probably caught more diamonds on that number seven spinner than anything. And I've bragged on it and bragged on it, and I'm probably not going to get a bite in this video. There we go. There we go. It just took a little reverse psychology. But then I probably caught something small here. But that's one of the other things. Yeah, it's a 2.1 pound pike. A lot of things will bite this spinner. A lot of small things are going to bite this spinner. But that's one of the things, too, is you have to make room for these diamonds to spawn in. And once you catch a bunch of these small ones, you cause those diamonds to start spawning. That, I think that's why the seven spinner is so good because it's fun when you're sitting there reeling them in. You know, they just bite, 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 bite. There is an honorable mention that I want to say. 
I thought about putting on this list and Mike's probably going to kill me for not putting it on this list. The artificial worm. To put that artificial worm on and jig the bottom, you can catch and slay the lake trout diamonds and goats. But here's why I didn't put it on there. And it comes in at number 11, honorable mention for me. That is the most boring style of fishing, in my opinion. I, that's, I can't stand fishing for Sidewinder because of it. Because you're sitting there just watching your arm just go up and down. And, and I'm just, I get so bored fishing that way. Even though I know, like right now, I need one diamond token and I know I could probably go right here. I know I could probably go right here if I wanted to. Somebody's there right now. I could go right here and probably spend 30 minutes to an hour and I could probably catch me a diamond lake trout. I dread that style of fish, fishing so badly that I'll just go do something else. <laughs> I don't like fishing with that worm just sitting there bobbing up and down. It's too boring for me. I can't handle it. All right, guys. Let me know in the comments if, if this has helped you at all. If this is kind of like, oh, okay, I didn't realize that many fish bought that or, or bit that that bait or that lure or whatever. Let me know what your favorite baits are. Maybe there's one out there that I've not tried that uh, that you guys are burning it up with or I didn't think about or there's a certain spot. You know, that's another thing. Certain spots, certain baits. I mean, there's a lot of combinations that go together in this game that you all figure out. There's little hot spots. And, no, Darth, use a frog here or use a popper over here. Let me know those things. This community is awesome, and we share these things with each other, and that's what makes this game awesome, uh, is the love and support from you guys lately on my YouTube channel has been off the charts. It is growing so fast because of you guys. And uh, you guys, you, you motivate me to keep making more videos. So if I'm helping you, please let me know. Drop a like. Drop a sub if you haven't. Hit that notify bell so that you can see when my videos go live. I do go live on YouTube now from 8 p.m. Eastern to 11 p.m. Eastern. I go on about an hour before we start our King of the Catch competition. Uh, actually, our Tackle Tuesday competition, which is usually the King of the Catch fish. We started a new season last week. I'm currently in second place to Tony from DoorDash, who beat me by 0.3 pounds. But I'm currently in second place. It's a new season. We have nine weeks left, nine Tuesdays left that we're doing that again. And I'm pumped. So glad to be a part of that. Big Rig, thank you so much for organizing that, putting it all together. But my name is Dar Sloan. Our other streams are on Twitch, usually Monday, Wednesday, Thursday evenings, 5 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Eastern. Fridays, we're usually 5.30 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. Eastern in the mornings. That's my before work stream on Fridays because I, I'm busy on Friday evenings. Saturdays are hit and miss. I may not be streaming many Saturdays here in the next little bit due to hunting season. But when I do stream, it'll probably be a little later in the day or something after I get back. Sundays, 8 to 11 a.m. Eastern. And we may start throwing some more YouTube streams in. But thank you guys so much for your support. We will catch you in the next video.